Hey, welcome guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Let's go ahead and get started with your tarot read. So I haven't used this deck uh, in a little while. So let's pull it out. Let's see what message comes forward for the collective today. What is the message that you guys need to hear most? Hmm. Healing the heart, body and soul on the Oracle's gift. I do feel like during this healing the heart process, somebody is getting more in touch with their intuition. I feel like somebody's actually getting healthier too, like healthier lifestyle, healthier eating, more exercise. That body and soul card speaks to every part of us being interconnected. So our heart, our mind, our soul, all of it, our body, everything sort of feeds in. And when one piece is off balance, it kind of throws the whole works off. I have this distinct impression of somebody really making life changes during this. And it was this healing the heart, wherever this came from, if this was, you know, losing somebody close to you, if this was a breakup, if this was a job loss, it was some sort of big catalyst. That was a change in thinking that was like, okay, I need to start living my life a different way. I need to start getting healthy. I need to start getting back to me and looking after myself. Uh, now you said spirituality and somebody's intuition is a big part of this too. Somebody, I, I'm getting the words being guided. So somebody feels like they're being guided in this journey uh, by their spirit guides, by perhaps uh, guardian angels or loved ones that have passed. But somebody has a distinct impression that they are being guided along the way. A tall tale. What else do we have? The land between. Wish upon a star. And a merry motive. Hmm. They don't have closure over what happened in the past. I do feel like it involved a secondary energy and it was like not knowing what that person's motive was, not knowing why that person did what they did and maybe even the full extent of what that person was up to. Um, I do feel like somebody would like to have answers. Like if they could get the closure about what happened with that other party, uh, what that other party was thinking, what they were feeling, uh, come clean about whatever they were up to or whatever they were doing. I feel like it would help somebody to sort of cut those ties, to cut those final ties, to release that and to move forward. Um, I'm being shown the number one, so I need one more of these cards. Oh, we had a couple pop forward. So we have Great Big Love and the Roses Kiss came forward. That Roses Kiss is a lot like stopping to smell the roses. So taking time to enjoy those little things in life, the little day-to-day -day things along the way. Great big love. See, this is what somebody's building for themselves. And in this great big love, like I don't feel, I don't feel romantic love. I feel like this is like self-love. Somebody building themselves back up, starting a new chapter that's more about them. It's more about coming home to themselves, rebuilding themselves. A lot of positivity and a lot of change I can feel in somebody's life. A lot of change coming. I do feel a period of, um, I guess you could say being single. This is, this is somebody taking a chunk of time for themselves where they're not looking to get into a relationship. Uh, they're not looking to put uh, their efforts into somebody new. They're looking just to looking to look after themselves. Like I said, like there's like health stuff going on. Like somebody's eating healthier. Somebody is exercising. Somebody might even be meditating or sort of uh, maybe even practicing with tarot cards or practicing with crystal healing or, or praying or going to church or somebody's coming back to their spirituality and their spiritual self as well. Like I said, someone feels like they're being guided on this journey. And I do believe they are. I do believe they are. Uh, we need a tarot deck for this read. This one's popping out. So tarot can give you more clarification on what's going on for the person in this read. Let's see what we got. The six of swords. Yeah, somebody is actively working at cutting ties to the past and moving on, especially this nine of cups, this wish fulfillment. Somebody's looking for this um, building building for themselves, building a life for themselves. Part of that is being able to cut the final ties to the past, the emotional ties. And I do feel like there's a little bit hanging on here. Like I said, it's a bit hanging on, but it's because somebody doesn't have that closure. The page of swords, the three of swords. I feel like this, why? Why did this happen? Um, I would really appreciate it if this person stepped forward and told me why they hurt me the way that they hurt me. Uh, 
what was the motive behind it? What was the extent of it? It's like being able to have that last piece so that you can close the door. The Empress. The Empress is the energy that you're coming into. And I've actually gotten this in a lot of my collective reads too. This is this is for men and this is for women. This is all about personal growth. This is about healing. This is about evolving. And absolutely, this is what I felt in the Oracle cards was somebody's journey. Somebody is evolving. Somebody is coming into their own. Somebody is finding healing and getting in touch with their spiritual side and their intuition. Queen of Cups. Ooh, Two of Swords. Two of Swords. Let's see. Sun card. King of Pentacles. Temperance. Hmm. See, that Queen of Cups is somebody healing their heart. This is the healing process. This is dealing with your emotions, sorting through them. There's still bits and pieces. Like I said, there's still some pieces that are raw here. Oh, interesting though. That Two of Swords, you are at a crossroads here. This King of Pentacles is who you dealt with in the past. This is representative of this person that you dealt with in the past. Uh, this is somebody who I do believe you were trying to find long-term long -term stability with, long-term security with. This is somebody who you were sort of banking on for the future, somebody you were putting a lot of effort and emotion and energy into, into building for the future. So it was extremely heartbreaking and disappointing when all of this did not work out the way it was supposed to work out. And there was something that they did that really, it, it either like, they pulled the plug without an explanation or they did something extremely hurtful to the point where you had to walk away or where the relationship came to an end. I don't feel like this person's going to give you the apology that you're looking for. This is what Tarot is saying. And this is why we're coming forward with a lot of cards that are more focused about you and sort of what you need to be able to move on. I don't think this person's going to apologize. I think you're going to have to find closure within yourself here. Uh, healing temperance. Temperance is all about balance. Balance between emotion and logic. I do feel like this is your crossroads. Being able to find closure within yourself so that you can release these ties and move on and move forward instead of waiting to hear from this King of Pentacles because I, I just have this very distinct impression that this king of pentacles will never give you what you need they're not going to apologize they're not going to step up and tell you what you need to hear the knight of pentacles judgment ace of wands hmm. yeah it's going to be up to you whether you can let this go and whether you can start a new beginning whether you can accept things the way they were and accept that you're never going to 100 percent know what was on this person's mind what was in this person's heart to be able to move forward, to be able to let this go. It's going to be like up to you. Do you, do you want to hang on to this any longer? Do you want to give this person any more of your time and effort? You're already making really big changes here. You're already, you know, you're eating healthier, you're exercising, you're getting more in touch with your spirituality. You're taking these, these big extraordinary steps in changing your life and moving away from this person. Do you really want to give them any more of your energy and this sort of this wondering why? This wondering why. Magician, seven of wands. You are absolutely resilient. Absolutely resilient. Six of pentacles. The magician card. And the magician card tells me that you have the ability to find this closure within yourself. This is like, you know what? It's funny because I feel like this is like the last puzzle piece. And it's not like when this happens and you can cut these ties, everything's going to be a uh, hunky dory or tickety boo. It's, but it's going to be a big piece. It's going to be a big piece of really closing the door on that past chapter of your life and looking forward, truly looking forward without looking back. I do feel like you are absolutely capable of doing this. You are capable of giving yourself this gift of giving yourself closure so that you can find this roses kiss. So you can truly appreciate all the good things in everyday life. And you won't have this little thought in the back of your mind that keeps popping up about why did they do what they do? Why did this person, why did they do this? Why did they hurt you? What were the motives behind it? What was the extent of it? Mm, Queen of Wands. Uh, Cause you are, I'm gonna tell you, whether you like it or not, you're attracting romantic attention. Whether you want it or not, you're attracting romantic attention. You are getting attention here. And this might, like I said, I felt in the beginning that somebody was not really interested in getting back to, into a romantic situation anytime soon. Like 
Like I really want this time for myself. It's important for me to just take this time for myself and to be single and to rebuild myself and to find freedom and independence and happiness. Uh, <laughs> you're getting people looking at you anyways. Page of Wands, Eight of Swords. Mm, I do have the Eight of Swords. That Eight of Swords speaks of anxiety. I tell you, I don't know if when these people come forward or somebody comes forward with a romantic interest or you get that inclination that somebody's looking for more than friendship or an acquaintanceship, that it does make you worry or that that's a fear uh, for your future of possibly running into somebody like this again or getting back into a similar situation and having your heart broken. Vision. Seven of Pentacles, though, it represents an abundant harvest. I do see you having abundance for the future. If you're worried about, uh, you know, what your future is going to look like in the romance department, I'm going to tell you right now, don't worry. Don't worry because the right person will come along and everything will iron itself out. I do believe that what you're doing here, this taking this time for yourself and making a point of taking this time for yourself is an important part of finding that abundant harvest in the future, of finding that loyalty in the future and finding somebody who's not like this King of Pentacles, somebody who's going to step up and actually invest in stability for you. But first, you need to do this for yourself. Because even if a romantic interest did come along who sort of changed your mind about being single, if you haven't closed the door on this chapter, you will bring some of this baggage into that new love, into that new relationship, and it does have the potential to do damage to anything new. Uh, we got the higher font here, and the word at the bottom of the card is guidance, which is what I felt right at the beginning uh, with the Oracle's gift card, with that third Oracle card that came out, is somebody feels like they're being guided, and you most definitely are being guided. You most definitely have spirit around you, whether like I said this is your guardian angels, your spirit guides, somebody close to you who's passed over, uh, who's watching over you on this journey and trying to guide you, you do have guidance. You have spiritual guidance on the other side. And they're saying too, take this time for yourself. You're doing the right thing in taking this time for yourself. Don't worry about the future. Don't worry about what the future holds, who you may meet in the future, who might try and come your way in the future. Take this time to live in the now. Take this time to live in the now, to keep looking after yourself the way that you're doing because you're doing an awesome job. You're doing a great job in making these changes in your life and being brave and being courageous and in altering sort of your day-to-day -day living. But this piece of things, this is a closure you're gonna have to find for yourself. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in this land between. I'm gonna show you this card here. So the past, the future, and then up top where the bridges are is the land between. And that's where you're stuck until you can cut these ties. So all this awesome work that you're doing, trying to move over into the future, this little piece of things just keeps you stuck in the land between. This is something that you need to cut for yourself. These are ties you need to cut for yourself. The full card. A change in perspective, a change in perspective, taking a leap of faith. I just feel this, this changes within you. And it's not going to be easy. This isn't like, okay, you know, I agree with what Desiree is saying. So, okay, I'm cutting ties. Snip, snip. I'm done. Okay, moving on. It's not like that. This is a choice that you're going to have to consciously make probably every day or just about every day, maybe a couple of times a day as these thoughts sort of come back into your mind. As the thoughts and the emotions pop up and you start to think about the past and you say, no, that piece of things is done. It is what it is. There are some things that I'm just never going to know, but I need to focus on myself in the future because that's what, that's what's important. I'm important. My future is important. My happiness is important. And all of that shit is just going to keep me in the land be between. It's going to keep me stuck. It's going to keep me from moving forward. Like I said, this is something you're going to have to remind yourself because that's how those changes happen. They're not a switch flipping. It's not freaking magic. It takes a lot of awareness and a lot of work. And this is something that you're gonna have to do and you will find that as time goes on, 
you have to do this less and less. And this is you moving forward. This is you progressing into the future, leaving this land between, leaving the past behind, and truly being able to focus on the roses kiss and sort of these everyday awesome things in your life, these great changes that you're making. You're going to start noticing the feeling within. You're going to start having less fear about what the future holds or who's around you or what their motives are as well. And this love, this great love, that you would like to have will come to you when you are ready for it. But this piece of things needs to get looked after first. This is a very important part of your journey. And some people never make it to this part. Uh, some people sort of uh, sit and stew and stuff. Some people just never choose to heal. They never choose to move on and move forward. You have to be high vibrational and aware enough to know that this is not working for you and you know a situation is not working for you and that you want better for yourself to be able to choose in these directions and that's who you are because those are the choices that you've made and your choices reflect that they reflect that you are high vibrational they reflect that you this empress card has a deep meaning for you you're not afraid of personal growth you're not afraid of taking an honest look at yourself you're not afraid of doing the shadow work and doing the hard work to be able to find happiness at the end we have the lover's card queen of pentacles knight of wands you are somebody who is looking for stability you don't want to just a uh, date you don't want to just have a fling you don't want to just you know like when you're looking for a relationship you're looking for long-term stability so it does take time to find somebody who not only wants what you want but who matches you too. So the two of you get along well enough, the two of you mesh enough to be able to find that. You will find this person. You will absolutely find this person. Four of Cups, the Tower. It's just that this shit that happened in the past, this Catalyst, this King of Pentacles, this was kind of a distraction on the way. This tower that came of this, this was a little bit of a distraction. It was kind of stopped you from finding who you're really meant to be with, but, but, it was not all for nothing because it brought about this transformation for you. And I do believe that this transformation is kind of like the groundwork uh, for that abundant harvest. This is something that had to happen so that you could really come into your own, like the strength card said, you could really find your strength. You could become who you're supposed to be. You could find that happiness. And I do feel like that happiness uh, is actually going to be the thing that draws that person in. That new person, that person you're meant to be with, when you're ready for that piece of things to start. Divine timing, right? But this piece of things needs to happen first. And it needs to happen, I mean, even forget about romance. It just needs to happen so that you can let go of it. And you're not stuck in this land between space anymore. You're not stuck with this, this thought about, I wonder why they did it. And having these emotions and these thoughts weighing on you and, and being a burden. It's time to release these burdens. You're doing so much other work to find happiness, to find healthiness, uh, to move on in your life. This is just another piece of things that has to get dealt with. And the cards are saying that, yes, you have, you have guidance. You have guidance following you along the way. Um, I actually just got told the word proud. So whoever your guidance is, your guides are, your guardian angels, whoever these people are who are helping to guide you from the other side of things in the spiritual realm, they are very proud of you. They're proud of the choices that you're making. They're proud of the changes that you're making. You need to be proud of yourself too with how far you've come because you have done some huge, enormous work in changing the way that your life is going and finding happiness and finding healthiness for yourself. Like I said, this is just another piece of things that you're going to have to make a choice about where you're at this crossroads here. This, this King of Pentacles from your past is not going to give you what you need. They're not going to give you the explanation. They're not going to give you the apology. This is something you have to find within yourself. And this is something you need to be able to find a way to release. Like I said, it's going to be... It's going to be a process of catching those thoughts every time they pop up, catching those feelings every time they pop up, and being able to remind yourself that that is part of the past that is your past and you're now moving forward to the future it's not going to be easy but you're a strong ass person i can see in all the choices that you made that you are absolutely capable of doing this and it will get easier and easier 
as time goes on until you're not even doing it anymore because you're now living in sort of that, that future present, right? That future now where you can enjoy day-to-day -day life and you found this healthier new chapter and you found this healthier, happier version of yourself as well. Alrighty guys, that's your read.